The radioactive decay of actinium-227 into francium-223 then into radium-223 is shown below. Identify each decay involved in the process. Okay, we need to figure out one answer and there are two decay processes. So we need to figure out which type of decay is happening here. Okay, interesting. Why did you pause the video and give this one a try first? Now, in order to figure out what type of decay is occurring, we can look at how the mass number that is A, how is that changing and how the proton number or atomic number Z, how is that changing? And uh, we can also try to recall what all decays do we know. So one of them is definitely alpha decay. Alpha particle is really a helium nucleus. So atomic number of two and uh, mass number of four. So in this case, in the case of alpha decay, the change is that the mass number decreases by four and atomic number decreases by two. There is one more decay called beta minus and there is also beta plus decay. So in these cases, sorry, in these cases, what happens is, uh, let's say beta minus decay. Now beta minus decay, neutron really changes into a proton by also emitting an electron. So in this case, neutron is changing into a proton. So the mass number is not really changing. No change for mass number, but the atomic number can really increase. Uh, it can increase by one in case of beta minus decay. And in case of beta plus decay, it will decrease by one. So we can write that as plus minus one, depending on if beta minus decay is happening or beta plus decay is happening. So now let's take, let's take a look at what's happening here. In the first case, in the first decay process, there is a change in atomic number by four from 227 to 223. And there is a change in the proton or there is a change in the atomic number by two from 89 to 87. So definitely the first decay process is alpha decay. And we need to figure out if the second one is beta minus or beta plus. Well, in the second case, what we see is the mass number is not really changing, but, but the atomic number is increasing by one. So that really happens with beta minus decay because in a beta minus decay, neutron changes to a proton. So your atomic number increases by one because the number of protons determine the atomic number. So in this case, this would be option, option D. In a beta plus decay, a proton really changes into a neutron and also a positron is emitted. So in beta plus decay, the atomic number really reduces, which is the opposite of beta minus decay. So in this case, the right answer is option D.